man. Uh, before before we begin caving, I can turn my audio back on because uh, lo and behold, uh, when you're looking at tutorials for things, uh, it is not uh, convenient to. Uh, Oh, I should, uh... Hold on a moment. I need to make myself another iron pickaxe. And let's let, let's just bring this along for now. Okay. So, lo and behold, uh, it is not convenient to, uh... Look at tutorials and try to farm things at the same time. Like, it just doesn't work. So let's check on the uh, chest here. So we have eight in there at the moment. Uh, the goal would to have like four layers of this. Unfortunately, uh, that's not really feasible in a single episode <laughs> or stream. All right, so now we have to find our way back down here. And our goal is really EXP above all else. Nothing else really matters. So I can just uh, dig my way down here. And of course... also that like st makeshift staircase there so uh, there's multiple ways we can go here and I think we should go this way all right so our primary goal is exp so iron, gold, you name it, uh, if it gives you XP, we'll go for it. And I hear a zombie, and I'm not sure where it is, but right now, uh, oh, there it is. Lots of iron over here. And another zombie. And multiple spiders. Okay. So let's uh, hop on back here and grab this unprocessed iron. Like, what I really want is, like, I want fortune and efficiency and all the good enchantments. And copper. Lots of copper, too. Alright. So, par part of the problem is, is these caves are pretty much, uh, labyrinthian in nature. Uh, they twist and turn and they confuse you. And it's a good time. Mostly. We need all the EXP we can get. And I'm not going to be using this coal for, like, torches. It's actually going to be uh, put into a chest just exclusively for coal for building. Because, uh, lo and behold, uh, it is harder to find coal now than like a lot of blocks. It is easier for me to make charcoal than it is to uh... get coal. And 
I swear, some of these guys have, like, the world's greatest, like, pathfinding. Like, I'll give Mojang credit where credit is due. The pathfinding on their mobs is actually pretty, pretty solid. Alright, let's, uh, grab this here. Like, I want to do a level 30 enchant on my, uh... Diamond pickaxe. But we're gonna have to figure out a way to do that. Cave here. Alright. Just grab this coal and we'll head back. Like, I still haven't finished fully exploring that cave underneath, uh... Well, that massive cave system underneath my base here. That's actually something I'll end up having to do at some point. Alright, so let's go this way. Because there's still more to explore over here. So, we did find this, like, amethyst uh, place, and we... We can, in fact, uh, harvest this later, but I, I think for now we'll leave it as is. Because I'd, I'd like to come back with Silk Touch and Fortune and see if that has, like, any impact on this. Because I, I have no idea how this works. Because uh, I'm an old man and... A lot of the, uh, new stuff in Minecraft c c still confuses me. Alright, so we will go... Up, oh, nope, this is, uh... Upwards to the surface, I guess. So I guess deeper is the way to go. And I hear there's a mob around here. Oh, there's multiple mobs. Darn it. Like, uh, its armor is definitely gonna be a problem. Armor is definitely, uh, gonna be a problem. At least when dealing with mobs. We're at old diamond level, too. Like, that that's another thing, is diamonds are just so much harder to find now. Because they, cha they changed the ore distribution, which uh, makes it harder for us to find things. Alright, this uh, is apparently the end here. So we'll grab all this and 
go. Alright, we'll continue looking around here. And, ooh, there's some iron in the ceiling here. Nice. I uh, fell down. Okay. Uh, can I get this from uh, over here? Yes. Okay. So let's uh, let's try to find my way back up. All right. So I have apparently been over this way before, based on the massive number of torches that are scattered about. Up. Oh, yep. We've been here. This is all the way back at the beginning. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything else to explore around here. I mean, there's some places I could put torches, but... Uh... Doesn't really look like I can really do much there. Best bet is to just go ahead and move on. Alright, so... That was some pretty brief caving. But we did find some iron and copper. So we can go ahead and head back up here to the surface. And let's check on the farm here. Not a lot, but I expected that. I'm probably losing a tiny amount to... Uh, the fact that I don't have any glass here. Yeah. Uh, like I said, tiny amount to the fact that I don't have any glass. So there is that problem. Because the way I've designed this farm is it's intended for me to ha be able to look inside. But. Oh well. Alright. So I guess what we'll do now is we will go ahead and do some exploration under the house. Uh, while I'm at it, let's go ahead and deposit all of our junk here. Alright, that there goes our junk. Um... Eh, you know what, in case I really want to just go explore even more, uh, we'll put the coal in there. I'm, tr I'm sure I have some charcoal, like, lying around in here. Yeah, I have some charcoal lying around. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and sleep, and we'll head into the uh, area down below. So, one of my long-term goals is actually to light up, like, all the uh, underground, all of the underground cave system here. And, uh, do not spend time, like, goofing around up here. Uh, one of the things I actually have to do is I have to light up this area because mobs have shot me down over here. And it is not fun. Alright, so now we gotta deal with this system over here. Uh, I completely ignored this and now it's come back to haunt me. So let's... Uh, begin to light things up over here. Alright, is there a place I can... Uh, nope. Like, I was hoping there would be an area I could just, like, cut this off. But, no. Apparently not. So, I just need to find the, uh, source up here. Oh, okay. So, uh, let's, let's plug this leak like the CIA plugs the leak. There we go.
All right, so let's grab this coal. Like, it, it's nice to, like, do one caving session a week. Like, just straight up do some decent caving, explore, find things you haven't found. Oh, hey, there's some lapis. Lapis is some pretty good EXP. Oh, there's a spider, and it sensed me. And here comes the horde of zombies. Like, that's another thing about these, like, massive cave systems, is... Uh, these guys and their pathfinding makes it so that they have a really easy time of finding us. So it's constant conflict, which is good for my EXP, but bad for durability on all my stuff. So, it's okay. We knocked these guys out. We should be fine for now. But, the spawns are pretty much uh, unlimited. And there's two Endermen over there that I really don't want to tussle with. I'm not feeling the, uh, tussling. But I, I can see, like, the endless horde of, like, enemies over here that definitely are not people I want to deal with. And I'm making sure not to expose my back to my enemies. circled around, made sure that there's nothing, like, around these corners, so we'll grab this iron. Nice vein of iron. Nice large vein of iron. Very nice. Uh, grab this copper up here. Copper and iron, uh, definitely the way to go. Being shot at. Like I, I cannot hit. I cannot hit these guys. Like one of the things I need to get is a is a very uh, useful bow. Is I need a bow. Like hands down, that is one of the things I need. Is I need a bow. Oh, I, I, I can't even hit these guys because they've fallen and I can't get them. These Endermen are just like. Up oh, there it is. We found you. And of course, uh, 
someone shot me from behind, but I can't find him. Oh, hey. Nice. Geo location. And apparently it's like above somewhere I've explored. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Is uh, this place is just so massive that uh, I will probably never be able to fully explore it. Not unless I get like some sort of like cave detection uh, data pack or something. Which, honestly, probably too much effort. Let's, uh, let's walk past these guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can see where we've already explored. And that's a death trap. I see the skeleton, and yeah, this one had like full, full enchants. That's that's kind of annoying, and by kind of I mean really annoying. So I'm just going to run around and put these torches everywhere and practice safety because I hate the undead. to make myself another pickaxe. Right, let's uh, see here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Problem solved. And I have apparently been over here in the past. Yeah, I have been over here before. Uh, this is probably one of those places I ran out of torches when I was exploring. Because running out of torches when you explore is kind of a pain, and... This'll break right about now. Yeah. And I see, like, several skeletons here. Yes. 
shoot, shoot the Enderman, please. Like, if they could... I, I think they in, in, improved mob pathing to make it so that they don't harm the Endermen. Like, I don't know. I could be wrong. I probably am. Alright, so we'll go this way. Because I haven't gone this way yet. And there's lapis and lava. All sorts of fun stuff, right? Let's let's just make sure to get all this iron. So I can't really do much over there. Um, right now, kind of best just to leave this as is. Uh, I will go ahead and grab some of these. Uh... Oh, didn't mean to do that. We'll, we'll just grab the uh, crystals and be on our way. Okay, let's go ahead and head back up to the surface, because I, d I don't think there's anything more down here for me to grab. But uh, now that I am aware of, like, the uh, numerous uh, geodes down here, uh, I, I, I can at least be sure that I will harvest them soon. But as you can see, there's, there's like, a lot of, like, places down here I still haven't explored. But, uh, clearing this out and getting, like, any goodies and lighting up places that mobs might potentially spawn is definitely on my, my like, to-do list. Uh, there is also this, like, hole here that I'm gonna need to take care of. Uh, gonna need to take care of that at some point. Alright, so let's head back up to the surface world. Because that's where we kinda need to be. 